how many headlights I've been to on this truck. Had a 1994 one, still on that side. That one got wrecked in the parking lot, my first job. Then I got one off of Tahoe from a guy at the Impala Club. It was a real nice headlight. It was really nice. That one really got bad when I wrecked it in the snow. And I got this one from a junkyard, which is a pile. I returned it. I think I actually might have lost money on it. I don't know. Maybe I brought it up with a credit card. It was BS. Adjuster was all messed up. It's like $100. Real piece of junk. And it was yellow when I cleaned it and returned it back. It was better in condition than what it was. Then I had this piece of crap. I think someone on a forum sold it from Texas. It's all cracked up. It has like stress cracks all over it and it keeps on leaking water. I tried resealing it. These things, this is probably like a $20 light that I found somewhere on some message board. A lot of people give these lights away for nothing or used to because they put those Chinese and Taiwan ones on. Oh, yeah, Sylvania. I have a bunch of uh, used ones of these. And I also have new ones. I just clean it or rub my alcohol first, get the yellow off. This one doesn't really need a polish or nothing. It's clear enough. But I'm going to put vinyl over it just so this toxic environment keeps it good. Because I did this one with vinyl. And Condoland put these stupid uh, barcode things on it. And it stayed clear. Like mostly. This one did not. And then the, the parking things are garbage too. That's original, all cracked, and this thing, I don't know how many I went through on this side, unfortunately. And I got my ambers back in, I don't like clear corners anymore. But yeah, we have to uh, vinyl it, 3M stuff, like clear bra material, it works on headlights. Uh, baby shampoo, mixed in the spray bottle, that's what you need. And uh, one of these things helps too, one of these little applicator things. There's a number, they make them all different thicknesses and softness and everything. It's hot as hell out, real feel 117 and it's like 4 o'clock. And yeah, it's a little pitted and stuff, but I'm not, I'm not saying they get or nothing, I don't really care. The OEM finish is still good enough on it. Alright, uh, basically cut as best as you can, put it on there, baby shampoo, like window tinting, and then cut your excess. Let's go try it again, see if we can still do it. Coat your headlights. It does last longer and it might offer some impact resistance. It might. Uh, smart and you care when you ever buy like a new car, you get that stuff when it's brand new, like you could have did it with this and it would have been looking fine still. And even tail lights I think you can coat too. <laughs> I just wet my phone with this stuff. What I should have did though, it has the little aiming things. I should have used a hole punch, but I'm just going to cut them with a razor blade. Um, squirt a little baby shampoo water under it, get it all even, and then just, you know, applicate this guy. I'm going to get a, um, a little hole thing, punch it, punch it, punch it, so it can go through. I think I did it on this one that way. What did I do it? Oh, you just, no, I cut around it. I did it real ghetto and fast. Yeah. It's not uh, at all perfect, but we're just trying to get the uh, bubbles out. I couldn't really show you as I was doing it, but basically it's like window tinting. You spray it, try to get the bubbles out, trim the edges better, keep on working it. Eventually it will dry. I might use a heat gun as well, because the edges don't want to fold. Usually when you heat it, it stretches better. It's warming up a little bit. Or I should just put it in as hot as sun, but I kind of don't even want to sit in there for a minute. It's bad. Yeah, it looks shinier already, doesn't it? Just with the uh, the vinyl on it. Uh huh. All right, let me go. Try to get this edge down over here, over here, and over here. And it will be pretty cool. We're all uh, vinyling your headlight. It's easier to get the whole kit. And it'll work eventually. And I have to cut this short because someone's blasting music. Across the uh, the road again, typical condo land BS. And there we go. Hopefully it work. I gotta get this bubble out right here and over here, and a whole lot better than having nothing like this. It has a freaking fish tank in it. Let's drive around.